डिड यू सी दैट वॉट डोज एंड्स आर डूइंग देयर आर दे ट्राइंग टू ईट दो स्मॉल इंसेक्ट्स वेलकम टू इंसेक्ट वर्ल्ड एंड नेचर अगेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट एंड एंड एफिड म्यूचुअलिज्म एंड हाउ एंड्स फार्म देयर फूड एंड्स आर यू सोशल इंसेक्ट्स ऑफ द फैमिली फार्मेसिटी एंड अलॉन्ग विद द रिलेटेड वास्प एंड बीज बिलोंग टू द ऑर्डर हाईमेन ऑफ टेरा Ants appear in the fossil record across the globe in considerable diversity during the latest early Cretaceous and early late Cretaceous suggesting an earlier origin Ants evolved from vespoid wasp ancestors in the Cretaceous period and diversified after the rise of flowering plants According to an estimate total of 22000 species of ants are there They are easily identified by their elbowed antennae and the distinctive nod-like structure that form their slender waists. Most ants are generalist predators, scavengers, and indirect herbivores, but a few have evolved specialized ways of obtaining nutrition. Aphids are small, sap-sucking insect and members of superfamily Aphidoidea. A typical life cycle involves flightless females giving living birth to female nymphs who may also be already pregnant and adaptation scientists call telescopic development without the involvement of males they are pests for plants as they damage plants by sucking saps mealybugs are insects in the family pseudococci unarmored scale insects found in moist warm habitat Many species are considered pests as they harm the crop plants by sucking plant juice and sometimes act as vector for other plant diseases. Both aphids and mealybug comes under order Hemiptera. They secrete a sweet liquid called honeydew when feed on plant sap. The sugars in honeydew are a high energy food source which attracts ants. As most people know Where there is sugar there is bound to be ants some ants are so hungry for the aphid honeydew that they will milk the aphids to make them excrete the sugary substance the ants stroke the aphids with their antennae stimulating them to release the honeydew some aphid species have lost the ability to excrete waste on their own and depend entirely on caretaker ants to milk them Although mutualistic the feeding behavior of aphids is altered by ant attendants aphids attended by ants tend to increase the production of honeydew in smaller drops with a greater concentration of amino acids the ants in turn keep predators away from the aphids and mealybugs and will move them from one feeding location to another When migrating to a new area, many colonies will take the aphids with them to ensure a continued supply of honeydew. So, ants and aphids or ants and mealybugs share a well-documented symbiotic relationship, which means they both benefit mutually from their working relationship. Aphids and mealybugs produce a sugary food for the ants in exchange ants care for and protect them from predators and parasites. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications.